Good morning from the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Join me for day 19. I was on trail early this morning by 5 a.m. I slept in the shelter last night and there was a ton of people in there. So everybody was kind of restless, tossing and turning. So I figured I might as well just get up and get moving. So that's what I did. I have a long day today, like 17 miles. I'll be hiking down to Crawford Notch and I'll be getting picked up by um, Old Colony Ski Club again. And they're gonna take me back to their place and I'm gonna spend the night. And tomorrow I'm gonna take a zero they're calling for rain, so I think it's a good day to just rest and give my body a chance to recover. This is what I'm making my way down right now. Uh, it goes pretty far down there, so I just have to take it easy. I made it up to the Gateland Hut. Rock Hound and I had stopped here and stayed the night back in the fall. And if they have any leftover breakfast, they leave it out for the hikers. So I'm gonna see if I can go grab me something to eat. This is the view from the Galen Hut. Here's the front of it. I'm making my way up South Twin Mountain and I happen to turn around and that's the view of Frank, part of Franconia Ridge. I think that's Mount Lafayette. I stopped at the Galehead hut and they did not have any leftover breakfast. So their guests must have been very hungry and they cleaned everything up. So we got point two to get to the summit and it's rocks and boulders like usual, but I'm almost there. This is the view from South Twin Mountain. I think I'm walking along the smoothest part of trail in New Hampshire, and these are my views. I think uh, this was an old railroad bed at one time, and I don't know, it's, it was smoother than it is right now, but I've been walking on it for a couple of miles and it's been great. This was really pretty in the fall when Rockdown and I were here. This area is called White Wall Slide. And there's little rocks up there, or cliffs. Wow. This is the trail. Right on the edge 